what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Surveillance shows the moment a suspect attacked a Mississippi judge as a bailiff was attempting to escort him out of the courtroom. 27-year-old Sidney Newsom was in Pike County Justice Court last month on a domestic violence charge where he began throwing things at dun, 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 Judge Aubrey Rhymes. Sidney appeared to get loose from a bailiff who seemed to be walking him out of court according to the footage. Though his hands were in restraints, Sidney got a stack of papers and flung them at the judge, then grabbed a telephone and threw that as well. <laughs> the judge left his place from behind the bench to restrain Sidney. The video shows the judge pinning Sidney to a table. It also shows another man who was later identified as Sidney's brother trying to help the judge restrain Sidney. And check this out, fam. Plot twist. The police come in as they do, Keystone cops, and tackle the brother. And you can clearly see that the brother is trying to help the police, trying to help the judge restrain his own brother. They come in and pounce on him, tackle him to the floor and cuff him. The judge, at first you kind of watch the judge and you know, from a distance you might think, okay, okay, judge got a little heart. Negative. First of all, the judge was under no threat because dude had the cuffs on. So some people was trying to talk, say, talking about the judge like, man, that judge, that judge wasn't no joke, man. That judge got came up from, from off the bench like it was nothing. Man, that judge ain't no hero. He ain't did nothing special. The dude got cuffs on. Plus, the judge know it's other officers of the court that's in there, and he got other cops right down the hall on their way. Man, he wasn't, he wasn't under any type of threat. And then what makes him lose even more points is the brother was right next to him trying to help restrain his brother. And the cops came in, tackled the brother. And the judge just went back on the bench and just sat back like a pimp, just, just watching the action. He saw what they was doing to that dude. He could have easily said, no, 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 man, you got the wrong dude. He was helping. He wasn't hurt. He was helping. He's right there on the side of the judge. The judge, see, he see what's happening, but he didn't speak up for the dude. I have zero respect for the judge. None at all. Where they come from. No integrity whatsoever. He could have easily spoke up for that man. That man didn't, they didn't even have to put, go through the whole cup stand. Now, of course, I, 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 I predict they're going to let him go. But still, why does he have to even be arrested and humiliated in the first place? Why should he have cuffs put on him? But you know what? Now that I think about it, maybe they should have cuffed his ass because he ain't had no business helping them in the first place. That's right. The brother was upset and he was upset, that upset for a reason. And perhaps the judge went in too hard on him. Because you know they got a different set of punishments, you know, for certain people. Perhaps the brother did put himself in that situation to be judged. And, and that's always a problem, fam. That's always a problem, you know, like, we're all human beings and we all make mistakes. And yes, black people make mistakes too. The only problem with that is black people pay for their mistakes more severely when they walk into those courtrooms. They start licking their chops when they see us. 
all they see is ching, 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 ball slamming. Like, yeah, got another one. So we damn near have to be, we got to pretty much be perfect. Like, we damn near, I mean, we just cannot allow ourselves to get in a jam and walk into their courtrooms and ask for mercy from people who are not designed to give us mercy. It ain't even their job to show us mercy. Their job is to punish us, persecute, prosecute us. That's their job. That's why when they go, when they're doing their job in college and all this growing, I want to grow up to be a prosecutor, I want to do this and do that. Man, they got us in mind. When they start thinking about who they gonna hit, hit with those sentences. When dude threw those papers at the judge, I'm not gonna lie to you, fam. I can't lie to you. It wouldn't be right. I chuckled a little. No more talk. What the haters talking about?